Uh, I would recommend early voting, uh, particularly if you have a Republican election clerk. Uh, I'm not sure I'd re- recommend a Republican go vote in Milwaukee. I just don't know about the the bipartisan uh, observation of those early votes. Uh, it might be possible. By the way, we really have a very robust election integrity component to our election. Uh, th- this year, for this election, we have uh, more than 5,000 uh, poll workers. These people that signed up last November, they've been trained. They'll be working with a Democrat poll worker. Uh, they'll be opening up the absentee ballot. So 5,000 versus 1,650 last election. Uh, we've got filled over 1,000 election observer shifts versus 314. Um, we, we are getting downloads uh, uh, on a daily basis, I think like twice a day, in terms of the absentee ballots being returned, uh, com- comparing those to the registration, the voter files and stuff. So uh, we're in contact with the Wisconsin Election Commission, their attorneys. They know we are watching them like a hawk. Uh, election clerks know we're watching them like a hawk. We set up a website, securityelectionswi.com. Uh, if you see something, say something, call into that or use that website to report any suspicious behavior. Uh, we've got election observers. Uh, for example, if an absentee ballot is challenged by a Republican, accepted by the Democrat, and then a Democrat election clerk accepts that ballot, there's not much we can do to challenge it, but we'll document it. So at the end of the night, we're going to know how many challenged ballots were still accepted by a Democrat uh, poll worker and Democrat election official determine whether this is something that uh, is, should concern us or whether it's just uh, you know a, a few ballots and it's nothing to, to really worry about. So we, we're taking election uh, security and integrity very, very seriously. Um, I am cautiously, cautiously confident uh, that this is going to be a, a, a free and fair election.